Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And do you ever have you ever wondered why Vietnamese usually pass red lights? So I'm not sure if this is true, but my history teacher uh, have told me a story. It's not a story; it's just a, an explanation um, for this behavior, not really good behavior. So let's talk about it. Um, you know, Vietnam used to be a place that a lot of country wants wanted to own because of the good geographical location. Like we have mountains, we have beaches, like long beaches and big beaches beautiful um we also have a lot of rare minerals rare minerals or like or something like gold and silver do we have gold i remember that we have gold silver um oil those are good things and like i think that other countries uh saw the potential in us and they think that if they own mm, this like if they own vietnam like the old vietnam maybe they will have they will able, be able to um develop more and Sorry for the interruption. Um, continue. So, what did I just say? Ah, I remember now. So that uh, we have a lot of fights with other country to protect our independence and the land and the culture, the traditions. That is why um Vietnamese usually like try to go against the rules but not in the risky way in a way that we have the maybe let's say the clever excuses so that we can um so that we want we wouldn't be punished maybe you still think that it isn't enough to explain for the behaviors right and continue Vietnamese like of course we have a lot of fights and we also have some sometimes um, some periods that we um, that we belong to other country it's like we we didn't um successfully win against like we didn't successfully win in any f in in fights so there are still some periods when vietnam um was in vietnam vietnam was belong to some country like american or America or France or China like that and because Vietnamese don't want to lose their culture the things that I that they still trying that they were still trying to conserve preserve and so that's why we try to go against the rules so that we won't be punished because punish was hurt a lot right so we won't be punished but we still can protect um, the things that we are still protecting the history the culture the traditions the lifestyle and the language like that so that's why we have that kind of lifestyle, that kind of go against the rules. And I'm not sure if go against the rules is 
a kind of genes that can affect the way we live in like new centuries like modern centuries like this i just think that it's the lifestyle but now we are we are independent we are peaceful and we don't have any fight now so i don't know why it's still um like this kind of lifestyle is still happening but maybe it's like in the flesh and bones so we cannot prevent us from doing those behaviors like that and today's video is just a kind of entertainment it's like i'm not sure if this is actually real actually like scientific but maybe it is an explanation for Vietnamese behavior such as um, passing red lights like that. So actually, I'm not really. I'm not think it is really a scientific explanation, but it's just to share with you guys that why we behave like that and. Um, Maybe it's true, right? I think that it sounds kind of makes sense to me. It makes sense to me apart. And that is the end of the video today. I hope that you just take this like unseriously because it's not that um it's it's not that serious like like you can see my emotions right i'm not serious i'm just trying to explain or like just tell you guys this the explanation that my history teacher told me is not i don't mean anything so that is the end of the video today and thank you for listening goodbye everyone see you next time bye bye